Hey everyone, this is day three of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And I want to encourage you that we're in day three. I want you to continue to press. Don't worry about what the devil's throwing at you. Don't worry about what he's trying to do to discourage you because uh, today's devotion is a good one. Today's devotion is entitled, Memories You Won't Hinder Me. Here we go with Paul again in Philippians, the third chapter, verses 13 through 14. And he says this, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, this is the key. One thing I do forgetting those things that are behind and reaching forward to those things that are ahead. I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. And so when he's talking about those things that are in the past, the things that are past have already happened and they are our memories. We only have the memories of what has happened. And so what has happened is gone and we can't dwell on the past. We can't let our memories hinder us from pressing toward the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is ahead of us. He said, I reach ahead rather than let these things that are behind me. I forget those. Now, you have the memories. You won't completely forget them, but you don't let them dwell on you. You don't let them hinder you. And so I want, I want to speak to you because the enemy's going to try to throw some things. You may have had a failed 21 days a year ago, or you have made, may have struggled in fasting and praying or in your relationship with God. And the enemy wants to bring that up and say, you will never accomplish what you set out to do. You will never grow in the Lord like you want to. Uh, the, the church is doing it, but you will never do it. Forget what he's saying and forget what you did in the past. I want you to live today and I want you to live today with the tenacity and the courage that you can be successful in these 21 days. Take it day by day. Don't even think about tomorrow. Think just about today and forget those things that are behind. Don't let your memories hinder you. Don't let your past traumas or your past hurts uh, hinder you. Let those things go. Look ahead and press toward the mark of the prize of the hard calling. What is our immediate prize? We're going to accomplish these 21 days of prayer and fasting. What are we going to accomplish? We're going to grow closer to the Lord. We're going to grow spiritually and mature spiritually. We're going to be that church that God has called us to uh, live accordingly in 2024, and we will continue to walk in our deliverance. I believe one of the biggest deliverances in anyone's life is not letting the past dictate their present and their future. So don't let your memories hinder you. Don't let it hold you back. Forget them, press forward, move forward, and watch God do what he's going to do. Tune in tomorrow, day four, for our devotions. You can always go to our website at RidgelyMinistries.org. Join us for our prayer meetings. We'll be having prayer on Sundays and Wednesdays. You can access our prayer meeting on our virtual, uh, in our virtual prayer room, but on Wednesday in our on our campus. We want you to be there to not just be a part of the prayer meeting, but to hear from the Lord what he wants to speak to his people in these last and evil days. God bless you. I want you to be encouraged and tune in tomorrow for day four. Take care.